Suppose we want to know how much the ends of this beam rotate. Here is the general deformed shape of the beam. We have a clockwise rotation at A and a counterclockwise rotation at B. Let's refer to them as theta A and theta B, respectively. To determine these rotations, we can use the virtual work method. According to this method, we can calculate theta A using this equation, where Mx is the beam's bending moment equation due to the applied load, and M star X is the beam's bending moment equation due to a virtual unit moment placed at A in the assumed direction of rotation. Here is how we can formulate Mx. To write m star x, we remove the applied load and place a clockwise virtual unit moment at A, like this. So the beam's bending moment equation becomes Now, we can express theta a as the integral of mx times m star x, like this. So, theta a equals 3wl cubed over 128ei. We are going to repeat the virtual work method in order to determine theta b. We can write, here, mx is going to be the same as before, or, but to determine m star x, this time we're going to place the unit moment at b, like this. Then the moment equation for the beam can be written as Now express theta b as the integral of mx times m star x, like this. So theta b equals 7wl cubed over 384ei. There you have it. The end rotations in terms of w and l.